Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be installing this new old stock Edison exit sign. So the reason I'm putting up this older exit sign is because in preparation for the holiday season, where I usually have a green exit sign and a red exit sign up, I like to have vintage stuff up just because I think it's more traditional and it kind of fits the Christmas theme a little bit better. And I've chosen this to be one of the exit signs I put up. So this right here is a Edison uh, thermoplastic exit sign. If we take off the Basically, you can see that this is an incandescent exit sign. It has a Sherlite's bracket, because I'm pretty sure that Edison is owned by Cooper. Two lamps, and then it comes with both red and green diffusers. In this case, I'll probably use these green diffusers. So these arrows actually punch out pretty easily. Um, technically, it doesn't even actually damage the sign when you push them out, because there's just these little tabs that hold the arrows in from the back, and you just push on them carefully, and it shouldn't break any of the plastic when you pull them off. So here's the canopy. When you get the canopy, this is the piece that will mount to the box. This part will screw into this bracket and then you have to put this brass piece that they supply you into the top hole of the canopy and then put it into this metal part of the sign. Um, the reason that you have to do that is because if you just put it into the plastic um, without using this metal piece that they supply, then it'll probably just rip off really easily. Since the sign will be double face, you have to remove all six of these screws on the back. I went ahead and did some cable management here, so I just tucked all these wires into the corner here, ran them through the canopy, and then I did the zip tie there so none of this cable will show through. So I fed the wires through this bracket. I'm going to wire it up. Uh, today I have these four bus bar Wagos. These are really nice. We'll make this a lot easier. So I'll just put those in, um, and then I'll fix this mount mounting bracket to the box, and then we'll put that sign up. At this point, the sign is wired up, so now we'll just fix this metal bracket to the box. At this point, we can go ahead and push this onto this little thing, making sure to push these wires onto the junction box. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and put a nut on that. So we're almost done here, but we need bulbs, obviously, since this is an incandescent sign. So the lamps I'll be using are these LED nightlight bulbs. They're actually pretty bright, perfect for exit signs like this since they won't damage the plastic housing. But since this is a uh, intermediate based sign, we need one of these adapters. But once that's in, we can just screw these into the bulb sockets and then the lamps will light up. And there we go. There it is all lit up. You can see that it has a nice green color. I actually really like the appearance of this sign. It has this really nice vintage look to it. Um, so I really like that. You can see there is this little down light, but that's gonna do it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll get one more shot of it in the dark. Let's see, there it is. All right, well, other than that, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.